All right, so this is example 5-5. Um, be very careful with these problems because I know that this looks very similar to what we did with a charged um, ring. Uh, so make sure you read your problem carefully and don't just go off of the picture. Okay, so we're looking for the magnetic flux density at a point on the axis of a circular loop with a radius of B that carries a current I. So we have a current I through the loop um, and we're trying to uh, find the B field here at a point. Uh, okay. So our R vector is always going, so we're going from uh, the current, so the current in uh, the ring with our current, um, and we're trying to get to the point. So we always go from here to the point. So we're going in and then up, right? So we're going in and then up. So negative B in the R hat direction, right? And then Z in the Z hat direction. So we're here. Uh, at any point on the ring and we want to get uh, to the point that we're measuring at so we just have to go in and up okay uh, then the magnitude of r is the square root of all the components squared so z squared plus negative b squared uh, to the one half so just pythagorean theorem essentially um or sorry yeah i guess to give you yourself give yourself the magnitude of that line would also be the pythagorean theorem uh, and then for our DL for this, uh, so DL is along the current direction, so we have B D phi. So we have a radius times D phi uh, to give ourselves the arc length of the total circle, and it is going in the phi hat direction, uh, which means that it's just uh, rotating around. Okay, um, so now we are going to combine some of our components here. So we have DL cross R, so our DL is B D phi. Uh, in the phi hat cross z in the z hat minus b in the r hat. Um, so really remember your cross products here. Uh, phi cross z, so phi cross z is r. So if we think about our um, coordinate system here, so phi, right hand rule, right cross z is going to be equal to r. Uh, and then phi cross r, so phi uh, cross r is going to equal negative z, right? Because our hand would be upside down for this one. So pinky along here, phi cross r. So we plug in our R here, right? So B, D, Phi, Z in the R hat direction, and then B, D, Phi, uh, uh, B here in the Z direction, because we had a negative Z, so this changes our negative for this part. Okay, so we found DL cross R, just because it was this top part of this equation, and then we're gonna plug it in here, and then we're plugging in our R value. So this, this guy to the one half, uh, cubed essentially okay so this is where things get weird because we essentially are dropping out this r term uh, because of the symmetry of the r component we know that it's where it's canceled and we're neglecting it and only taking the z hat component so we're only um we, we kind of did this in earlier problems but we didn't really uh talk about it in the same way uh because the math didn't sort of work out that way we were able to like neglect it right away but if we think about like our, our B field kind of rotating around in this way, our resulting B is going to be in the Z hat direction. And we're not, uh, we're ignoring um, the radial component of B because of symmetry. So we, we're just neglecting this piece. Um, so our, we can drop that out of the equation. It becomes this. I know it's not like a really satisfying explanation, um, but we're just basically looking at it in terms of Z hat. Uh, so we're using field behavior, like known field behavior, to cancel some of our components. So it's a little annoying. Sorry, the math doesn't just sort of like work out magically without kind of these uh, shortcuts, but it is the way it is. Okay, so um, we're taking what's left here in the z hat direction. Um, and then we are integrating from 0 to 2 pi because we have a full circle and our differential piece is d phi. Uh, and then as we integrate, we're just basically multiplying uh, the whole thing by 2 pi, and then it simplifies kind of nicely here, and that gives us our resulting B field. So this is our resulting B field at this point, 0, 0, Z, uh, on the line. So this is our B field here, and we are experiencing a force in the positive Z hat direction up here. So that is our resulting B field.